It's spring 2010, and Ford is shaking up the pony car world by replacing its 15-year-old V8 engine with a spanking new 5.0 liter, 412 horsepower, 390 pound-foot V8. You know what that means. It's time to round up the usual suspects for a Motor Trend comparison test. Joining the new Mustang is the familiar Chevrolet Camaro SS and the Dodge Challenger SRT8. But what should we do with these three cars? Well, we could smoke them. We could slide them. We probably ought to test them. But mainly, let's take them out on some good twisty roads and shake them down that way. The Camaro SS has a lot to recommend it. The chassis is quite good. The Zeta architecture gives it a 52% front, 48% rear weight balance. It's almost ideal. The 6.2 liter engine makes the most horsepower in the group, admittedly only by one at 426. But, you know, the styling, while it's really popular, a lot of people are snapping cell phone pictures of it since it's in Transformers yellow and everything but it exacts quite a huge price on the interior. The windows are very small, visibility out in all directions is poor, the pillars are very wide, and then there's other things like the steering wheel rim is very thick and the shifter knob is oversized. All those kind of features make me feel small and I don't want my muscle car to make me feel small. All these things combine to make most editors believe they would rather not own this car and that's what put it in third place. Ah, oh, the Challenger SRT8. We all know this car is based on a full-size sedan, just like its predecessor was. So naturally, it's the largest and heaviest here by probably three to 500 pounds. But up on the mountain, uh, this chassis really shrinks the car. It corners very flat with the same grip that the Camaro SS manages, 0.92G. Its Hemi V8 also makes the most sweet, caramely V8 noise of any car here, if not any muscle car ever. We all just love it. And of course, in between the heavy duty running, it's the most comfortable and quiet car too for highway running and so forth. So even though it does cost about $12,000 more in the base price than the Camaro SS, this is the car we'd all much rather own. So it finishes in second place. Well, this test was basically the Mustangs to lose right from the beginning. I mean, we fell in love with the chassis the last time we had these cars together, and that's only been improved by the addition of this new Brembo performance package. Then you throw in an engine that gives it the best weight to power ratio of 8.8 .8 pounds per horsepower and what's not to love, especially considering it has the lowest base price and the highest EPA fuel economy. So we ran it up and down the mountain and fell in love with the light, nimble chassis, the great visibility, the strong brakes, and this engine. We just love this engine. It sounds just like Frank Bullitt's car in the movie. And so at the end of the test, we all agreed this was the car we'd most like to have. So to recap the results in this battle on the ongoing pony car wars, in third place we had the Chevrolet Camaro SS, in second the Dodge Challenger SRT8. And that means that until one of the other guys adds a few horsepower or tweaks their chassis in some meaningful way, the king of the V8 pony car hill is the Ford Mustang GT 5.0.